any little bit more, uh, less energy, we lose the game. Uh, and obviously Bryce Thompson made some big baskets, but that was the ultimate team win. I couldn't be more proud to be there, Coach, today. Mike, in those final minutes, the message to the team when you're when when they're they're getting things tight and the week you've had and, and the journey you've had, what's kind of the message to the team and kind of what goes through your mind? What goes through my mind is I, I want to see these guys finish it. Really, um, I, I know the kind of people we have in the locker room. Um, I know the kind of heart we have, and I know that these guys have been disappointed that they haven't been able to get the job done prior to today, this week. Uh, so I just encourage them that they had put themselves in a position to do something that no no team in our program's history had done. Uh, coming in today, I know they lost Tuesday, but they were still the number one ranked team in the country. And we had an opportunity on the road uh, in the best league in the country by far to get a big time win, and, and they did it today. So I'm proud of them. What, what was kind of the mood around the team the last few days after everything this week? I mean, they, they you know, there's been a lot, you know. Um, mentally, they, they, they've, been, they've been struggling a little bit, trying to figure out why it hasn't gone better. Um, but what I told them, honestly, was, you know, last year's team gets brought up a lot and the success that they had. And everybody forgets that we were one in three in the league last year also. <laughs> and, you know, there's always the next opportunity in this league. And so don't focus on what happened. Just control what's in front of you and do your best to try to, you know, take advantage of the opportunity that's uh, right, at your, right at your front. We've talked about your offensive struggles quite a bit this year. Is that first half what you thought that this is going to look like? You're getting stops defensively and getting out and running. Is this what you thought that this team could look like? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of how we've been built. Um, you know, obviously a lot of it has to do with the teams we've been playing that we haven't been able to do that as consistently. But we play with a level of determination today that I haven't seen in a while. And um, if we can do that more consistently because everybody who played scored. Um, and when we focus on trying to help each other, we're really good team. What can you say about Bryce Thompson? Say it wasn't just that he had the 19 points or whatever. It seemed like he had an answer for everything. Uh, yeah, I mean, he, you know, he's, he's a big time player. I mean, there's a reason we recruited him as hard as we did out of high school. And that once he was available again in the spring, there was no thought in our minds to not try to get him back home. And uh, he showed up today in a big way and, and, and really was a, a key cog in terms of us keeping a little distance for a while. And then, I mean, let alone the defensive play, he made it late. And uh, he's made so much growth on the defensive end of the court. It, it makes you proud that he's a kid, as talented as he is, who will continue to get better because he wants to listen and be coached. When, hey, Bryce, when Bryce is shooting like that, is that what you envisioned with him when he's answering like that when, you, when you've when you gone after him for so long? Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I envision a specific game. Yeah. I mean, I envision him playing well. I, I expect all of our guys to play well. And, and I'm always strive for us to get better until we get everybody playing at the best level that they can. And I know that's asking a lot, right, because guys don't have the same amount of opportunities. But that's my job as a coach is to get the most out of each kid and ultimately that leading to us getting the most out of our team. So, you know, Bryce showed up today in a major way, but, you know, Isaac likely made some big plays. I thought the play of the game was Rondell Walker's tip from behind, layout for saving the ball out of bounds, because it really kind of broke a little bit of momentum for us. I think we went down to score, but that was huge momentum shift at the moment. Uh, I'll go back and look at the film, but I remember that play vividly because I felt it shifting a little bit, and, and that, was, that was a Rondell Walker play. We haven't seen enough of that. I hope that's a spark for him moving forward. You mentioned everybody who played scored. There were a couple of guys hit threes. And obviously, beating the number one team builds confidence. Can this start to snowball a little bit, do you think? I don't know. I mean, the, the thing you got to be careful of in this league is assuming that it just happens, right? Um, it's a hard league, man. <laughs> and if you get too caught up in what you just did, you will get smacked around the next game. And um, every coach, every team is fighting for every inch of the court that they have, right? It's not just fighting for a shot. You're fighting for a block out. You're fighting for a catch. You're fighting to get open. You're fighting uh, for loose balls. You're fighting to get good shots. And so you have to have the mindset of, yeah, you got to be proud of what you did because you know how hard it was. But when we come back to practice on Monday, if we're thinking about today, we'll have our hands full in our next game. On this crazy road trip, is there something you've learned about your team that you didn't know entering it? What I've learned, to be honest, is we are who I believed at the beginning of the season we could be. We're that team. The record may not reflect that. I know people may say, well, you're just saying that because they won. But I, I haven't seen our team flinch 
I thought in the latter part of the game on Thursday, we let go of the rope defensively. And I told our guys, you can quit outside of our program. Right? Whatever you do in your life, whatever choices you make, you're allowed to do. And everybody has consequences. They have to face good, sometimes bad. But you're not allowed to quit within our program. Not allowed to quit in a game. Not allowed to quit on a possession. Not allowed to quit on your teammates. And I thought our guys responded with fighting for each other, showing the type of energy that I expect us to have every single day. Now, will we still stumble our toes? Probably so. At some point, I mean, it's a, like I said, hard league to play in the goal, you know, 18 rounds uh, through. But I know what we can be, and tonight we show what, what that was. What we were. Mike, Kenjo is such a great facilitator for their offense, and the fact that he didn't have an assist tonight and really struggled from the field along with Blagner. But what was the key defensively to take him away from running Baylor's offense? Just trying to keep bodies in front of him, uh, trying to shrink the floor, if you will, on him and take away his vision. Uh, and I thought our guys did a really good job of having active hands. Um, and so as, as he's trying to probe off a ball screen, we wanted our bigs to be a little bit more aggressive than we normally are in terms of leaving space in between him and the rim so he can see his teammates. And our guys followed the game plan and executed it to a team. He's a great player. He'll bounce back.